he came to my room that night and he was like, You want to use me to chase clouds? Do you know that this guy came? He knows how to fuck me. He knows how to oh. talk to me. He knows how to provoke me. Like, he provoked me to a point. I was like, You know, Deji, you know what? Enough is enough. Cut my room. You're a stupid boy. He brought out his phone when I was triggered. Provoked, and this boy started recording me hey. when I was triggered. Hey. <sighs> My God, guys, I'm not okay. I don't. I don't even know if I'm okay. I don't even know if I am going to recover from everything I heard Chichi spill tonight on the reunion show. Deji is wicked. I wish I could say it in Yoruba language. Guys, it would have sounded deeper. But Deji is wicked. Ah! Ah! See, 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 see. Deji did not only manipulate Chichi into still being with him. According to all what Chichi said, which Deji did not deny because he had the chance to defend himself. Deji also went as far as love bombing this girl. Hmm? and gaslighting this girl into thinking and believing and accepting that she's a mental case ah hey when somebody is using your brain using your brain to stir soup and the person is not making you feel like you're the mad person telling you that you need therapy and you too because of love ah guys that was what they did to chi chi i was pained ah see tonight yeah I was just, guys, I was just vibrating. I was just literally screaming. I'm like, how can one person be so brutal? How can one person be so ruthless? Looking at where Chichi is coming from, all that she's been through, her background, her upbringing, this guy did not even consider all of that. This guy just literally went all out to do what he did. What? You know what? <laughs> Let, I'm, I'm just trying not to be too sentimental right now, but I don't even know how to achieve that right now. But you know what? Let's just get into this video. Tonight's episode of the Big Brother Ninja Level Up Reunion was all about Chichi and Deji. Apparently, these two people actually had a lot of unresolved issues. Yes. And I've been seeing that they were bringing their business to social media, you know, from time to time. But I wasn't really keeping up because for me, well, at the end of the day, we, we we're going to see where this thing is going to lead to right and now tonight we heard it all so guys chill back relax watch this video to the end and of course share with me your thoughts in the comment section below as we dig into every single spillage <laughs> hey every single thing that was spilled tonight from chichi and deji and officially you are all specially welcome back to my youtube channel my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with gloria elijah and i am the girl with the t please do not forget to use um, the red subscribe button all right just do exactly what you see on your screen if you're new here you definitely do not want to miss out on our updates on this channel all right and i'm um, also guys prepare yourselves saturday we're going to be having a live stream yes there's a lot to talk about there's a lot to unpack quickly let's get into the details of this conversation as i said before tonight's episode was all about the relationship that actually existed between chi chi and deji in big brother's house whilst the show was still on and outside the house now what we saw between these two people inside the house was more like deji was giving chi chi the green light but on the outside he was you know gossiping with other people and making it look like chi chi was actually you know forcing herself on him now what we heard tonight literally contradicts all of deji's gossips about chi chi in the house so apparently in the closet this guy will be assuring her that a hey, i like you this and that that and that don't listen to what people are saying blah 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 this guy literally sold the story the cookie of it's us against the world it's the world against us so whatever people are saying do not listen and all of his words literally sank deep into chichi's mind and looking at where chichi is coming from this girl is looking for love and acceptance we all saw that play out in the house yes and so she bought everything hook line and sinker everything deji assured her of she bought it now according to her 
she did not want to actually listen to what people were saying the likes of bella the likes of doing they were not directly telling her you know that oh deji does not like her bella for one was actually asking her are you sure that this guy likes you and i love the fact that ibuka had asked bella what exactly she had actually noticed you know for her to have had such a conversation with chi chi and according to bella she had seen that um the energy was not reciprocated because from chi chi what people were seeing was oh chi chi was literally in love and chi chi admitted it tonight that yes she was in love with this guy in and outside of the house because of the things that this guy kept on assuring her of but according to bella because deji was friends with you know she and shags what they were hearing was contrary to the energy that chi chi was bringing to the relationship according to bella Deji had actually said he was not ready for a relationship, but that was not what Deji was telling to Chi Chi. A clip had been played um, of Deji and Dotun having conversations about Doi and Chi Chi in Big Brother's house. We had heard how, you know, Deji was talking about he's going to spend time with whoever he wants to spend time with, you know, giving off the impression that he does not belong to just one girl in the house. He's going to, you know, have relations with anybody he wants to have relations with in the house. I mean, guys, during the show, we saw all of that play out we saw how you know chi chi was just literally chilling and just going with the vibe that deji was giving whilst doi on the other hand was you know pushing herself heavily on deji even though it meant her throwing scythe whom she was crazy about at the time you know until he was evicted right she was literally throwing him under the bus so we saw all of that now on the show tonight, Ebuka had asked Deji, you know, where that sentiment was coming from. And according to him, uh, that was not part of his game. For him, he did not go into Big Brother's house for relationship. He did not go into the house to be with someone. He had gone into the house to play the game. But then from what we heard from Chi Chi, regardless of this guy's, you know, mantra of playing the game, selling himself, selling his brand. This guy had been cooking the pot of soup inside Chi Chi's head, telling her all manner of things, feeding her with all sorts of assurances that, hey, I'm with you, I'm with you, blah, blah, blah. And guys, we saw the chemistry between these two people in the closet. They even went as far as getting busy beneath the sheets before Deji was, you know, evicted. According to Chi Chi, even after the show ended, in fact, that first few weeks, they were watching clips they were watching clips which is quite natural because you know um once the housemates are out of the house their friends their families um their management is going to start sharing them clips about um what their fellow housemates did or said about them behind their back who they should you know be friends with and who they should not be friends with so they had actually shown her a lot of clips about deji saying xyz about her but because of the assurances that deji had actually instilled in this girl's brain she kept on rejecting all the way sharing her she kept on rejecting all the receipts and whenever she brought it up with deji did you would tell her not to listen to people guys the part that really got me mad tonight was the part where Chichi revealed that Deji would always tell her that she was overreacting. Now, this guy was literally playing on Chichi's emotions. He was playing on Chichi's temperament. We know that, in a way, Chichi is kind of hot-tempered. And when she loses her cool, she tends to go all out crazy. So this guy was weaponizing her weakness, knowing fully well that, okay, this girl is actually not a crazy person. So he would provoke her and then he would tell her that, oh, uh, you are overreacting, don't listen to people. And then he started making her believe that she needs to see a therapist, that she's overreacting because of her upbringing, because of her background, because of all the things that she has actually been through in life. Guys, this guy was literally weaponizing the information that he had about Chi Chi into controlling her emotions and using her as a pawn in and outside the house. Now, if he had stopped inside the house, well, I would say, okay, fine. They were playing a game, right? So it's quite expected that these housemates will go all out to win that money. But outside the house, he still continued to brainwash her, to manipulate her, to gaslight her, to love bomb her. Nah. <laughs> We need to sue Deji at this point. Another part that almost sent me going crazy tonight was Chi Chi revealed that in Cape Town, they had actually had a heated conversation. She was not in the mood to talk. This guy kept on poking her, poking her and provoked her. And then when she lost her cool, he brought out his phone 
I started recording her. Guys, he started recording her at her lowest moment where he knew that, okay, she was upset, she was provoked, she was going to say a lot of things, heightened tensions, heightened emotions. This guy was recording her to have it as what? As receipt, to prove to people, to prove to the netizens that, oh, indeed, Chi Chi is a mad person. She's crazy. That's why I did not want to settle with her, you know, as her boyfriend. Like, really? really now nah, this is too much deji totally needs to be banned mm? officially banned from getting close to chi chi and guys this thing i said chi chi explained tonight that she kept on telling this guy over and over again stay away from me stay away from me and he knows her weakness both of them cannot resist each other according to her when they see each other they cannot resist each other and so they do what grown-up people do they do what adults do right they get intimate with each other but then afterwards this guy still goes ahead to do xyz to do whatever he wants to do to manipulate her to gaslight her and so she had warned him over and over again to stay away from her but this guy would constantly come to our hotel room at night and i was wondering like Deji, of all the things that you explained in this reunion tonight you gave the impression in and outside the house that you're not ready for a relationship that you're not ready to be with this particular girl but here she is exposing you that you would constantly come to our room at night and then you will leave early in the morning dude what, what are you looking for what are you looking for? If she's that dirty, if she's that disgusting, if she has such a terrible attitude, what are you going to go and look for? You want to go and stare the honey pot. So you're only interested in the honey pot and nothing else. And you know, when did you have the floor to speak? This guy was going on and on about, oh, I cannot just be with somebody I don't really know. I, I wanted to know you, but you were not allowing me to know you. And I'm like, dude, you're a bloody liar. How is it that you don't really know Chi Chi? You are brainwashing this girl and telling her that, oh, she needs to see a therapist because of all she has been through in life. What is that all that she has been through in life that you know? Is that not information that you already know about her? Coming out here to come and claim that, oh, eh, you don't know about her, so you cannot be with somebody you don't know that well. Really, Deji? Really? And you know, the, another part that really pissed me off tonight was the way the other housemates were laughing at Chichi's pain. The way they were laughing, the way they were making a mockery of her feelings, guys, it was so disgusting. It was really disgusting. I looked at all of them, and the only thing I could see at that point in time was just amateur adults, amateur grown-ups. Yeah. I mean, guys, I'm like, what is so funny? Someone is talking about how someone literally almost ran her crazy in a so-called relationship i think people are out here laughing laughing at what exactly you know what guys you know what guys tonight's episode was just really emotional for me i guess i understand that people in relationship they have issues you know they have their ups and downs i get it but this was not a regular relationship because in the closet this guy was giving this girl a different kind of lyrics and then in public it was acting out a script it was like he was ashamed you know to be with chichi it was like he was ashamed to be seen around that and i'm thinking bro if you value your reputation so much that you feel like chichi being in your life is going to be like a stain to your pristine um reputation why were you still going to our bedroom at night why you know what, guys? Let me just save the rest of my anger for Saturday. Yes, we're going to have our live stream on Saturday, 3 p.m. WAT as usual. But in the meantime, I would love to know your thoughts about tonight's spillage from Chichi and Deji. Please go ahead and share in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. Have an amazing night's rest. Bye.